Welcome everyone to uh, the first lecture on advanced deep learning for computer vision. So this is an introductory lecture and uh, since we have this unusual situation with the virus, uh, we decided to start by recording all the lectures. So this is the first one, welcome. And first let me start by introducing the team. So we are two professors, myself and Professor Niesner. We are both going to teach this lecture um, so that we can offer a bit of uh, variety in the topics that we will actually present. And this variety will stem from the research that we're both doing in computer vision and deep learning. Uh, we also have um, a diverse set of tutors. So Dave, G, Tim and Maxim are going to help us and are going to help you, guide you through the research projects, which are a very important part of this lecture, as you will see today. So let's see, what is this course about? So um, the theoretical lectures are going to be a presentation of advanced deep learning methods uh, with a heavy focus on computer vision tasks. So you already did the introduction to deep learning. You have these strong foundations on uh, the theory and also quite a lot of practice on the basis introduction, introduction um, to deep learning. So now we're going to take uh, all of these techniques a uh, step further and step uh, quite a lot into the field of computer vision. Now we're going to focus quite a lot on new methods. So this is a research oriented uh, course. So we're going to be presenting methods um, that have been invented, some of them only this year. So really recent stuff. Um, there's going to be plenty of references. So if you want to read uh, the research papers that we're proposing you, if you want to expand on your knowledge, um, this is uh, the right course for you. And uh, as I said, this is a very research oriented course. So um, while we'll go over these new methods in the, in the theoretical lectures, um, you will actually have to come up with your own ideas to solve a specific vision problem. So this is essentially a practical course with some theoretical lectures that are going to provide you some tools to actually solve a vision problem that you're interested in. So there's a very strong focus on the practical side and this is in the form of a semester long project where you can actually put all the knowledge that you learned in introduction to deep learning and especially in the lectures of advanced deep learning, you can actually put it into practice. So you can actually code up some of these methods, train your first big neural networks to solve a real specific computer vision problem. Now it is very important um, that you actually dedicate time to these projects. So we have been told semester after semester that this project is very time consuming. We are fully aware of this, but we find that this, this practical experience is actually very, very valuable. So we find that this project is going to give you a lot for your future, for your career, but it's also very time consuming. Now the project will be done in teams of two, which means that if at the beginning you create the team and you commit to another person to do this project up until the end and suddenly you drop mid-semester, this is really bad for the other student of the team who has suddenly been left alone. So we really want to avoid students dropping mid-semester. So we already tell you from the beginning that this project is very time consuming. So if you decide to move forward with this lecture, make sure that this semester is on the light side and that you can actually dedicate a lot of time for ADL 4CV. If not, please consider taking this course in the next semester. Um, you will most likely still be accepted if you make the cut this semester. Okay, so let's move towards course organization. So there's going to be, um, in, in the beginning we thought around uh, 12 lectures. Um, these could be reduced um, this semester to about eight, eight lectures, we have to see. And um, a difference that we're going to introduce this semester is that we're going to condense these lectures. So we want to actually uh, make this um, or present you with all this theory, with all these tools of advanced deep learning um, in a condensed way at the beginning of the lecture so that then you have all these tools, you have learned all these tools and you can actually apply them to the project. 
Otherwise, um, what happened uh, to some to some people is that they have, for example, a gun-based project, and guns are not introduced until five weeks um, uh, after the first lecture, and the project has already started by them. So they, they don't really have time to take full advantage of this introduction to gun lecture. So we're going to have lectures every Monday and every Friday. Um, we're going to um, upload them online, so all the lectures are going to be recorded and every Monday and every Friday one of the lectures is going to be uploaded. So look at, uh, at Moodle for new lectures that are going to come at the beginning and the end of the week. Now from the, from the practical side, the project is going to be done in groups of two and this is non-negotiable. Groups of one and groups of three are not possible unless there is a problem that we are not uh, an even number of students, uh, but in principle, a project has to be done in groups of two. And there's going to be presentations during the semester about the, the progress of the project. Uh, we have to see how we do this, whether this will be online or this will be already uh, physical uh, presentations that are going to happen at the seminar room on Fridays. And finally, there's going to be a final uh, poster presentation where you'll be able to present your results uh, to both me and Matthias' research group. Now, um, there's going to be an exam. So the exam it counts for one third of the grade. The date is still not set. There's going to be the classic two review sessions so you can go um, see what you did uh, well and what you, you didn't do well in the exam. Uh, but again, the, the most important part of the lecture is actually the practical part, which counts for two-thirds of the grade. Now, um, the project, a little bit talking about already about deadlines for the project. So next Friday, we're going to have a project presentation. And project presentation means that we will actually present you with um, possible projects that we are interested in, that the tutors, TAs are actually interested in research-wise. It's related to their own uh, research that they're doing for the PhD. And uh, you will be able then to, to take a look at the projects, read related works, and find out whether you actually uh, like any of those projects. Now, on Monday the 4th of May, uh, we're going to do the project assignment. So this will most likely happen live. We will try to, um, to do this live, even though we might have to do it online. And um, on the 11th of May, you will actually deliver a one-page abstract of your idea for the project. So following um, the project assignments and following the project description that the TAs will present uh, on, the, on the 24th, um, you will actually develop kind of a research plan, which will be this one-page abstract. And until the, the 15th, we will evaluate actually this project. Now, um, two notes uh, on, the, on the actual projects. One is that, of course, this is advanced deep learning for computer vision. So the projects are mostly revolving around computer vision. This doesn't mean that uh, we're not interested in projects that are maybe um, natural language, um, processing projects or, or related areas um, that where you actually still use deep learning. Uh, but of course, then uh, we cannot offer the guidance, the, the, the expertise that we have in computer vision. So if you have any ideas of your own for projects, please pitch them to us. Please talk to the TAs. Uh, we can still make those happen and we can still evaluate whether those projects would be actually doable in, in one semester in ADL for CV. Uh, but of course, we have a strong preference for the projects that we are proposing and for projects in computer vision. Nonetheless, please be creative. If you have any idea, just pitch it to us, just drop us an email. Okay, so the project evaluation um, is going to, to be separated into presentations uh, and poster presentation. So we will have two sets of presentations. Now on the 8th and 12th of June, we're going to have presentations separated into two groups, and these groups uh, we will let you know to which group you actually belong. For this first presentation, you just have to present first results, first challenges that you had, um, what kind of data sets did you find for your challenge, how did you set up these data sets, all of these things. Maybe the first neural network, the first baseline that you actually trained already. And uh, it is mandatory to attend to these presentations, so everyone needs to attend and we actually welcome questions from other members of the group. 
So, so we actually want everyone to participate in these presentations. We want, we want everyone to ask questions. We have to learn from each other's projects. Now, the second presentation um, is going to happen in July, and um, you will have had a month from the first presentation to the second. So here you have to present almost final results. So what are the things that you tried, what worked, what didn't work, and uh, what are the results that you have up to this point? And I said almost final results because um, on the 24th of July, there's going to be a poster presentation. And this is the absolute final presentation for your project. So see, you're going to have roughly from the 6th or the 10th of July until the 24th to finalize the code, finalize the report, finalize the results and present them on the 24th. Now, um, all the results have to be there already on the 20th, which is the final deadline for the report. So at noon on the 20th, of July, you're going to hand in a report, which is going to be maximum four pages, including images, including all the results, including everything that you tried, um, using a template that we will actually provide you. And then you will have four days, essentially, to prepare for the final poster presentation. Now, the grading, as I said, um, there's going to be an exam that is going to be one third of the grade, and it's going to be based on the lectures that we will actually uh, be giving during the semester but the practical part is going to be the bulk of the grade. So two thirds of the grade is going to be the practical part. Now the presentations, the two oral presentations during the semester and the poster presentation count for one third of that practical part. The final report is another third and the code submission and in general evaluation of uh, what was the quality of the project. This is um, the remaining one third. Now, um, in order to follow up with the projects, you will be assigned to a TA, to one of the four tutors, Dave, G, Tim, and Maxim, um, and they're going to help you out, um, and they're going to monitor your progress. So please make sure that you have weekly or bi-weekly office hours with them, that you discuss the, prog with, the progress with them. Now, they're not there to actually help you coding uh, something that you cannot figure out, but of course, if you have a problem, if something is not working, if a network is not training, um, you should actually contact them. You should talk to them so that you're sure you're making progress every week. And uh, these, the, the, TAs, uh, the TA assignment, the tutor assignment will be announced uh, after the projects. So you will be um, already by then ready to start talking with them and start organizing your semester long project. Now, um, the lecture will be entirely on now, uh, online for now. So, so this, is, this is the plan to actually record all the lectures. And um, the Moodle should be already set up. The slides will be posted there. They will also be posted on uh, the website that you see here, um, as well as the link to the video recordings for these uh, lectures. Now, any questions regarding the organization of the course? you have um, a dedicated email address. Um, unfortunately, we cannot answer emails to our individual addresses because we just uh, would have too many emails and too many unorganized emails. So for any question you have regarding the course, please use the official ADL4CB email. Now, it is very important that um, the projects happen in teams of two. So if you already know your partner, that's great. Otherwise, please use Moodle. So have, have a chat, you know, after these introductory lectures, after you uh, have taken a look at the projects that we will present on Friday, which one do you like? And then post on Moodle your preferences. You know, I'm, I'm in favor of, of doing this type of project. Who is interested? Who doesn't have a team? Um, so try to find uh, the... Um, let, let's try to make these teams happen on Moodle. Now, this is an overview of the project timeline so that you have an idea that um, you will start roughly the project um, on the second week of May. And then uh, you will have roughly three, four weeks until the first presentation, then another three, four weeks um, until the second presentation, and finally around uh, 10 to 15 days until the deadline for the report and the poster presentation. Okay, so um, thank you very much for, for being here.
in this first lecture. We're really looking forward um, to this to this new mode of, of doing lectures, which will which will happen online. Um, we will try to keep up with with the new challenges that come with um, actually recording lectures and, and doing almost all of the teaching online. So we will also open up um, lines of, of question on Moodle for each of the lectures so you can ask all the questions that you want there and then uh, we will try to answer you on time so that you have you know this uh, kind of live feedback and uh, please stay tuned for the new lectures and uh, again make sure that you make time for this lecture this is quite a time consuming lecture but it's also a lot of fun good then See you at the next lecture.